Okay, there are a lot of people out there that have gotten to what I call the 68 ballerina move. And it is driven into us so much that we're supposed to fire the lower body and the lower body is supposed to uh, create the action and the arms and hands are supposed to be passive and whatnot. And I'm a firm believer that the body and the rotation of the body controls the rotation of the club face. But it's been overdone and overtaught. And what the 68 ballerina move is, is in golf shorthand, P6 is when the shaft is parallel to the ground on this side, and P8 is when the shaft is parallel to the ground on this side. And I call it the 68 ballerina because the club shaft is in P6 and the lower body is where it should be at P8 because it's let out so much. And you'll see a lot of people also, their right hip pops out, their right knee gets too forward, and they end up in the ballerina move. It's a weak move, and you're gonna end up having to stall and flip the club, as opposed to the Sam Sneed squat, which a lot of people like to refer to. His first move down, this knee stayed here, this knee goes this way, and there's this big tunnel here, all right? And what that does is, is that, uh, that pulls your arms down in front of you without, you know, having to yank them out in front of you, like when you pull the handle. And then from here, you can continue to rotate through the ball. So, that's what this drill is about. So this range basket is awfully large, and you don't want to use anything this big, but if you're really, really struggling, something this big is going to help you a lot. Uh, generally, I like to tell people to go to uh, the, the sporting goods store and get one of the big red handballs that the kids play with in the, in the schoolyard. But whatever it is, even if you only have a, a small range bucket at your disposal, you know, that's only, you know, half this size around, the object is a lot of people will drop it too soon. But the object is, is you take your normal backswing and your first move down is to drop the bucket and then hit the ball. You want to feel the separation of those movements. You don't want to be, you don't want to do that to it because you're, you're defeating the purpose of the drill. And how you hit the ball couldn't mean less because it's pretty distracting having this bucket here. So you put the bucket, the ball, whatever you have, you take it back, you drop it, and you hit it. And what that does is, is it just keeps this hip and this knee from firing too hard and too early. Now, I talked through that while I was doing it, and I stopped more than I would if I was actually doing it. You don't want to do this in as many parts as I just did it. But I was trying to explain the movement. You want to do it all in one fluid motion. Okay? Drop the bucket, drop the ball. It's a drill that keeps this movement from firing out too quickly and helps link your arms up out in front of your body.